Hello and welcome. We are going to get ready for our five day vacation. We are going on the cruise Carnival Valor to go see Mexico. So here we are showing our babies just so we can have some last minute clips to look at them while we're gone. Today is the day. We are going to New Orleans. It is 5 in the morning and we are leaving our house to go to Evan's parents' house and pick them up since we're all going together. So before we go, we're just going to get a little bit of breakfast and then we're going to hit the road.
here is the little safety meeting that we all had to attend. And then we snuck off into our bedroom slash cabins. Thankfully, we were right across the way from each other, which we planned, and I loved it. Um, but we just decided to drop our luggage off at our room, check out the cabin, and then go get some lunch. We are so happy to be able to relax in our room. Jill was able to surprise us. Look how cute this is. It is something that we're going to use on every cruise moving forward. And now we are going to check out Jill and Rob's room, see what their view looks like, and then we're going to go to dinner. There's a heat wave rolling in. There's a heat wave, yeah. There's a party in the streets and the city's on fire. the four of us got the same dinner and dessert we decided to head to the casino where we spent a good bit of our time at after that we were able to get some water to bring up to our room and that was the end of day one At the end of last night, we were greeted by one of the customer service representatives and they had the most beautiful flowers for me. Thank you so much, honey. And now we are on to day two and it is Evan's birthday. So we are gonna start the morning off going to see what Jill and Rob are up to and then we're all gonna get breakfast together. I can't wait to celebrate the day.
after breakfast, we decided to go explore. So Evan and I hit the arcade. We played around a little bit in there, and then we decided to go relax a little bit on his parents' balcony. I'm reading I get a text from Jill I run to the casino because she won $4,000 on the golden century machine in one spin it was amazing Evan turned out to be the biggest good luck charm that we could ever ask for and so then we decided we have to go find Rob and show him immediately so that's what we did we found Rob, and as soon as we did, the money dance began. We got the birthday boy, AKA Mr. Good Luck, and we went to the roulette table for a minute, and then it was time to get ready for our elegant night dinner. we had to end dinner with a little birthday cake and song yes we asked them not to do the song but you know things got a little carried away in the spirit of love I'll try okay from today you can drink now yeah okay happy birthday After Evan's birthday dinner, we were able to see a beautiful sunset and some random birds that showed up on the ship. I mean, we're in the middle of the ocean and these birds showed up, so it was super cute, super random. After we took some beautiful pictures, we were like, let's go get changed and test our luck again in the casino. So that's exactly what we did and then we went to bed. Welcome to day three. We are in the port of Costa Maya and we don't have any plans on getting off since we've been to this port before, but we are just gonna have some breakfast and then we are going to kick it at the pool while everyone is out off the ship. Okay, so obviously a monster has been made out of me. I love going to the casino and playing with my mother-in-law. 
Um, so that's where we stopped by on the way to our room. But we eventually found our way to the room. I love the roses that Evan got me. And we decided to change and hit the pool. no plans of getting off the ship but I did want to buy souvenirs for my co-workers as well as for myself so we decided to see what the port of Costa Maya Mexico has to offer is small compared to others but I was able to find this little shop and it had everything I needed in terms of souvenirs and gifts so I was able to find some vanilla and a Christmas ornament which is always my thing I always get a Christmas ornament wherever I travel to so here's the vanilla it is amazing. Now that I'm home and recording this, I've already used the vanilla several times. It is superior and I'm going to try and find a way to get more. Also, here is my Christmas ornament. Isn't it the cutest little thing? I love it and it was handmade which makes it even more special. And then I was able to find a dress at another shop in the port. It was handmade and I thought it was worth every penny so I had to get it. Once we changed and got back on board and got some dinner, we were able to walk around and Jill found the first duck. I didn't even know that they had ducks on this cruise, but apparently it's a thing and I became obsessed. So here we are hiding our first duck and then I had to change so that we could go on our duck hunt. And bam, I found my second, well, my first duck, but the family second duck. Good morning, here we are on day four. We are docking at Cozumel, Mexico. So I just decided to read before we were able to get off the ship and just take up that time in the sun. I am so excited now that we're docked and it is time to go on our excursion. <laughs>
This was the first time we decided to do an excursion that was not related to Carnival. We actually had to get a taxi and we decided to spend the day at a resort. So that's where we're going to now. that we're at the resort we were able to check out our room that we rented for the day once we checked out the room we decided it was time to explore the resort and see what we could get ourselves into there is only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed cause baby i got you 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 I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you
those little animals are just the cutest thing. Once we were able to get a dip in the pool, Evan and I decided to branch off and go do some snorkeling. After we snorkeled and had lunch, we decided to head back to the room, change, and then make our way back to the ship. Once on the ship, we decided to go to the bar and get some water, and after we got that water, we went back to our rooms and took a little nap before dinner. After the nap, we decided to get our little duckies and hide them before we went to dinner at the steakhouse. It's trouble and then some You live halfway around the world from me And to start 
tried something seems a no good idea it's clear to see but when sparks fly you know you must try when you blow So we go running straight into the ways I have heard that the heavens favor the brave We're too late to save But when Dinner was absolutely amazing. We had such a good time. So we went to bed with full bellies and here we are waking up on day five. Funny story, I didn't even record much of breakfast because Rob was kicking around. I look under the table and he was kicking a duck. A freaking ducky was in the dining room. So here it is. I had to get it. I love it so much. So I kept it with us as we played in the casino and then it was time to hide it. That's right, after breakfast we found another one. So we decided to read and regroup and then we wanted to go back out on the duck hunt and that's exactly what we did. the night with a total of seven ducks found and after we found them all we went on a mission to hide them so a kid or whoever can find it on the last night of the cruise. After we hit the last duck, we decided to go to bed so we can get ready for an early morning of debarking the ship. Well, that is a wrap, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to my mother-in-law and father-in-law, Jill and Rob Sheltree. We couldn't have done this without you guys, and we appreciate everything you do for us. We love you very much.